here we are. Well, right now, we're going to have breakfast here at 820 with Holly and Ernie and Patricia, who will make an entrance because they're not here yet. But I'll play some harmonica. This is my first ever, I don't even know what it's called, live streaming. But welcome to everybody, and uh, I hope you enjoy our little morning breakfast. Ah, here they come. And Ernie's bringing his flute. Right, in A minor. I know. That's a very minor experience. There's Ernie. Say hello, hello, it's Ernie. How are you doing? How are you? How are you out there, world? We're in here. Yes. It's warm and it's dry where we are. We hope that you're warm and dry, and you're having a good morning. And this is Patricia. Hello, I am wife of Ernie. We are glad to spend some of the morning with all of you. Hello, and I'm the most important person here because I have the coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And that is the truth. That was hard. And I'm looking for the video to see if it's... I've never done this before, so I'm looking for the place that I could see the comments. So but we're it all is, having an adventure. It's not yes. showing up. Already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry, of course. Great, he's fixing his... Larry Buss is fixing his breakfast. Dave Stevens, Cheryl Wilson. Hey, Cheryl. Nicholas, Would you like Laramie. some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good coffee. It's uh, Cafe Dumont. <laughs> so, I'll introduce Ernie. This Actually, you all you all know Ernie. Yes. Everybody knows me. Everybody knows, Everybody Ernie. knows me because I am ubiquitous. I'm going to have to look up ubiquitous. I was going to say, I thought you were earnest. <laughs> I'm ubiquitous in earnest. Yes, that's true. Right. So, so Ernie brought his flute and he's going to play for you. Um, not a saxophone because they're packed up ready to go. Because to... it's too big and I might break it on the table. <laughs> right. So he's going to play some flute. I have a song for you uh, that I'm going to play. We're going to talk, but I'm going to introduce Ernie for those that don't know that they know him. I don't even know that I know him. <laughs> as soon as you figure out who I am, write Corky. I'll let him know. Then, then he can let me know. You want the cream? Okay. Yeah, thank you. So uh, the idea here is that you can join us for breakfast and you can have your breakfast. I, I did this, I used to do this with David Amram. We'd, we'd have a, uh, uh, a speakerphone on our breakfast table and I'd call him and we'd join each other for breakfast. It was a great idea. For, so I thought I would extend this to everyone. Considering we're all cooped up, we don't have to really do that. So um, we're all safe. In, in, in our little shells. <laughs> we we're hope anyway. We're shelled up here imagining that we're safe. So therefore we are safe <laughs> because we think we are safe. Ernie is the philosopher of in our cocoon. <laughs> so. so Ernie, you've heard him Every time you listen to music, I'd say every other time, and hear saxophone, you're listening to Ernie. And as my friend Ken... And if it's not me, it's somebody that I know, and I'm getting 10% of every note they play. <laughs> and so you're getting an idea. Now, imagine me meeting this guy for the first time. I told this story in my newsletter before. We're in India. Uh, we're... Uh, I'm touring with uh, Dr. L. Subramaniam in India. And this fella joins the tour. He shows up on stage looking mean, mean. which is his normal mean. composure. And he's standing <laughs> fo focused on the saxophone, focused on the music. And I'm thinking, I got to meet this guy. And I'm so intimidated because not only is he Ernie Watts, but the he's most mean. But he's mean. <laughs> well, he looks mean anyway. Well, yeah. Well, it, but from my perspective, he was mean. He yes. looked mean. He's mean. So, <laughs> so we have, so we have a chai break, and and we're served chai in these little styrofoam cups. And I don't know what 
it came over me. I mean, sometimes when people are in fear and, and being intimidated, things come out of their mouths and they do things that just can't be explained. So I picked up the styrofoam cup of chai and I walked over to Ernie and out of my mouth comes exactly this. Mr. Watts, would you like to join me for some chai? And Ernie picks up his cup. Thank you. But I have some coffee in my hand right now. <laughs> I'll be right with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we bonded immediately. And uh, anyway, I was going to introduce Ernie because he's played with everyone. And in his, in his promotion materials, it says every, everyone from Cannonball Adderley to Frank Zappa. Um, Which is true. Yeah, and ju just to get this out of the way right away, the highlight, the really big, enormous highlight was when Ernie toured with the Rolling Stones. However, it was a highlight for the Rolling Stones. <laughs> so uh, Marvin Gaye, you know, anyone you could think of that this guy played with. And, and my, my sound uh, designer, Ken Gores, who some of you might know, who's been working with me since 1973. And I honor him for his ears above anyone. When he heard Ernie was playing on my last uh, Chamber Blues recording, Different Voices, uh, he said, wow, <laughs> I thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here? Yeah, here he is. Here he is. So he's Ken, old. Yeah, he's old. He's old. That's for sure. So Kenny said, "There's only three kinds of saxophone players in the world. One are the ones that think they're Ernie Watts. The other are the ones that think they play like Ernie Watts and sound like Ernie Watts. And the other are the ones that try to sound like Ernie Watts." <laughs> There's so, a lot of those. Yeah. Now we're getting a lot of activity I could see from here on the screen and, and, and it looks like, who knows, question? Yeah, Holly, you could see what they're saying. Uh, sipping coffee with you here in Wakanda. Martin oh. Ray is watching. Oh, Martin, oh great, okay, Hi, you guys. Martin. Wakanda. Yeah, what kind of place is that? <laughs> That's do a they place have in a, a movie. Do they have any anacondas in Wakanda? I don't know, sounds like a good blues song. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we should do some playing, so. All right. Ernie, do you want to start, or do you want me to do a song? or what No, should you do? should do a song, because I'm just going to do something, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. You think I have an idea what I'm going to do? Oh, you always had an idea. Okay, hey, Holly, <laughs> come here. We're going, to, we're going to begin the official... You come sit here. We're going to begin the official Breakfast with Ernie... Official Breakfast with Ernie. Live stream. <laughs> From the sunroom to your room, <laughs> wherever it might be like. <laughs> That's good. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Da, 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 da. I have a wonderful Notice this is our <laughs> this is our morning ritual for Holly and I, and when Ernie and Patricia come and join us, it's all of our morning ritual. Now it's your morning ritual, but I just wanted to note everybody. Yeah, Sing. oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> so you'll notice oh, the important part is I have a wonderful <laughs> because it's a this is a tiffle. Okay, yeah. You talk and we'll go okay. home in the back. Yeah. So, I have a wonderful feeling we use the Johnny Mathis style for that. So it's wonderful feeling. One, try it. One, two, three. Wonderful feeling. So anyway, that's it. So do you want to start Ernie or should I play a song? Uh, 
I think I should start. You too. Good. Get us in the mood. So here Anyways. I go. Right on the set. This is called the live stream. Tell them about the flute. This is a this is a Native American flute. Spirit. It's called a spirit flute. It's made of cedar. Handmade. And it is a lovely, lovely sound. So you can sort of play anything you want on it, and it sounds good. <laughs> so here it goes. Holly's reading some of the uh, wave. Some uh, Mark Early is waving and watching. Rick Francisco, what a great day to start each day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play a song, and then maybe we'll talk a little more, and we'll we'll make this a short uh, video stream uh, because our eggs are getting cold. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> and our food's getting cold too. <laughs> oh, and this this is a you know our first time. It's our practice. We're practicing with you. Uh, we're not able to read the comments really easily. I'm going to try and figure out a way to make that work. So from back here, we could read the comments. But in the meantime. This is a tune that Ernie and I played on the tour. Oh, and I didn't even explain that we just came off of a like a month long tour together. That's I didn't right. even explain that. And we did a, a bunch of duets. We did some trios right. with Kalyan, Johnny Bongo Katak. Right. We did a couple concerts, actually in four concerts with Chamber Blues. Right. Uh, with one guest was a Lynn Jordan. That's right. The bodacious diva Lynn Jordan, and then uh, Goran Ivanovic. Uh, amazing guitar player and do we have any other guests that I can think of no and then we did a regular you were a guest right I was a guest that's right that's right and you know what happened uh -oh. this was an amazing tour it was like one of those movies where the guy is driving his car at 90 miles an hour and there's this gigantic wall of water chasing him down the road and he's like seven feet ahead of this gigantic peak, you know, wall of water and it was like we were chasing and racing across the country and every time we did a concert, everything locked up. So we did everybody's last concert on this tour. Right. 
right? We yeah. got back here just in time before the whole country shut down. But our very last concert shut down too. Yeah, they well, beat us by almost, one, but we almost made it by one. Through. So it was an extremely exciting tour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was the don't look back, they're gaining on us. <laughs> <laughs> and you may be having some experiences of your own right now that remind you of that. <laughs> it started on February 20th, <laughs> and it was going to end March, uh, March 6th, it started in the tropics and ended in uh, Minnesota. But we so didn't make Minnesota. That we didn't quite Minnesota. make Minnesota. That was March 16th. <laughs> on March 16th. And we figure between us, we, we made about, what do you say, guys, $492.93 to spend? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that on anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God uh, Ernie was with us because he kept us laughing. <laughs> the mean looking guy kept us laughing. That's right. I have a song in my heart. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this song and we'll, we'll say, our, say our goodbyes after that and uh, I'll try not to spit on the food. <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> some particular time and place before well I don't know could it be deja vu or just my imagination <laughs> running away with you or just my imagination running away with you Just my imagination running away with you. Or just my imagination running away with you. How about you and your imagination running away with me? How about you and your imagination running away with me? <laughs> that was with half a cup of coffee. <laughs> you should hear how fast he does that with a whole cup of coffee. So see what someone's saying? Someone, okay. A bunch of people. What a wonderful way to start the day. Ron says, thanks for the day brightener. You've got my toes tapping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Ernie, where, where are you guys heading off to now? They're leaving Los at Angeles. noon today. We're driving them to the train. They're going on the train. We're going on the train back to Los Angeles. The chief, the yes, Southwest, the Southwest chief. chief. Southwest chief. Yeah, and I normally I ask, so uh, where are you uh, 
where are you playing next is the normal question, right? <laughs> but, but today it's going to be where are you not playing next? Yes, yes. So, because all of the following concerts have been canceled. All of our concerts of course, of course. have been canceled. Yes, because yes. of the coronavirus, right. as everybody knows. Yes, isn't yes. there a, isn't there like a saying where the day has been canceled? Isn't there some kind of a classic? I don't know. Line about so. the year has been canceled. Or so we, we're having uh, uh, quiches this morning, but the uh, this kind of quiches <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lots of smiles, lots of quiches, and lots of hugs too. Hugs and quiches, yes. <laughs> and you know, and everybody out there. <laughs> and you know, Ernie, Ernie, and I. You know, we talk about this a lot because music is. It, 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 in the beginning, there's there's reasons we play music, but at some point, it's just love, and it's just people, and it's just humanity, and it's compassion, and it's right. kindness, oh, and it's humanity. joy, right. and joy. So that's that's uh, why breakfast with Ernie was conceived because we thought it'd be fun and yeah. joyful and full of music. S oh, uh, so we've Eric, gotta have some fun. Eric Repkring says, "From the quiet night to the to to the uh, planetarium." <laughs> okay. Uh, was the quiet night in Evanston? No, that was uh, no, uh, Belmont was. in Chicago. And uh, you can tell me about your nine fifty three Belmont. Uh, actually, it's a hair salon now. It's where I get my hair done. <laughs> yeah, the quiet night where I played for four and a half years every Tuesday with Siegel Schwal and then continued to play there as a solo after that. And Jill, now, Jill says that uh, that was Amazing Grace, yes? Yes, Amazing Grace. Evanston was Amazing was Grace. It, and, that, and that was an amazing place. But on Belmont now, Holly gets her hair done, as does Ernie and, and Patricia when they're in when town. They're in town. Uh, at, yeah. at what you was the quiet it. night? You can feel it. You can feel the vibration in the room. You can't sit in the barber's chairs still. <laughs> and there are pictures in yeah. there yes. memorializing yes. it. Yeah, there's an altar to the quiet night with the Rolling Stones and Siegel Schwal and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So go up there and get your... your Diane Aiken says, Hi, thank you so much for letting us join you folks. A great way to start the day. Diane Aiken. Okay, so... Hi, hi from St. Paul. All right. <laughs> we so, almost made it to we you. Yes, we made it. <laughs> that was the last concert was the Dakota. <laughs> so stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're going to do more of these. Uh, his dates. Um, uh, what is what is the? No, sign. What you should do for and, those of you. And I, you can see where the rescheduling takes. Yeah. Our, if you sign up for my newsletter by going to any of my websites and subscribing, um, then you'll be informed as to when our next. Uh, I, I'm thinking of maybe doing these a, a little bit, you know, every every couple of days uh, uh, under the circumstances. Well, you're going to have time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're going to be home. We're all going to have time. We're all going to have time. We're all going to have time. Yeah. So uh, check, check the, sign up for the uh, the newsletter just on my websites. It's it's free. And your, your sister Joy from Australia says, Hey, bro, are you up early or are you up late? <laughs> <laughs> My sister Joy, who's, from Australia. <laughs> who is properly named, uh, lives in Australia, Which is in Melbourne. And uh, we're connected all the time. And uh, But it's midnight to her, so she doesn't know if I'm up early or late. <laughs> um, so that's Joy. Anyway, we're, we're going, I, I'd love to keep this going because it's building, but... Our quiche our is quiche getting is cold. Our quiche yeah. is getting cold. <laughs> Holly put yeah. all this work into the quiche, and we want to we want to enjoy it properly. Yes, and uh, as a vegan, this will be very interesting for me. But it was a vegan chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The chickens are vegetarian. That's right. Yes, they yeah. are. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. it's okay. We're all good. <laughs> right. So send my love to Joy and Malcolm in in um, and, uh, Australia. Sue. Kenick says, do more. Larry Buss, Quiet Night is where I first saw you in 1973. Good for you, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Larry well, I didn't know that. Larry Buss, I must say, is our, I don't dear know friend. if he is a dear friend, 
I don't know if he's our biggest fan, but he's the most imminent fan because as soon as I post anything on Facebook, Larry's right there. And he's we, always we the love first Larry. one. He's our brother. We love Larry, and he comes to he's every one brother. of our concerts. <laughs> and we love all of you, truly. We are connected. We are cousins. That's we right. We are all cousins. There's no, uh, it's not six degrees of separation, it's six feet of separation now. But we're still all in the same boat. It's, uh, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> it's just a bigger boat right now. Yeah, it's, if you guys want to hear, hear uh, 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 the, the, the song, the current song, no pun intended, that, oh. that was written before 2016, uh, before 2000, well, before the election of 2016, the song's called One Boat, No Shore. So if you Google no one boat no shore, Corky Siegel, you will get to hear that video, which seems to relate very well today it because does. we're all in the same boat and there's no shore. That's right. So you could look at that video, sign up for the newsletter. I'll be able to stay in contact with all of you, and we're gonna sign off with what? Think of something to sign off. With. Uh, I think some a little more flute. Wasn't that gorgeous? Why don't we lovely. see if we can play something together? Try to do a duet, you guys. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Okay, I was looking for an A minor harmonica that I use for that. We're going so, to try to play. You guys talk. I'll together. be right back. Yeah. We're going to see if we can do something so, together. I have to go get a different harmonica. Though. So Corky's so guys talk. going to get a different <laughs> harmonica that will harmonize with this here flute here. We hope. Yes. Or if not, it'll be really cool anyway. That's right. If it doesn't, if it doesn't harmonize, it'll be contemporary classical music. <laughs> it will be avant-garde. Yeah. So. Yes. So you got to uh, do something. So. So here people, he comes. He's coming uh, down I hear the hall him. Now. I hear him. He's hear coming him now. Coming I hear that hall. train of coming. <laughs> but you hear him too now. <laughs> Nice to have breakfast with you. We love you so much. Push on the finish button. <laughs>